Hey guys, Ulrich here. So today I want to discuss another question that I keep getting from a lot of you guys. And the question is, is it hard to learn guitar on your own? And it's one of these questions that obviously I cannot just say, yes, it is hard to learn to play guitar on your own or no, it's not hard at all. So it really depends on a number of factors. So, and those very factors I want to discuss in this video now, um, I'm going to try to keep it a little shorter this time, but uh, also I highly encourage you to look at the links that are somewhere up here that will take you over to my website where I have everything prepared to you in written form. And I feel it's a, a little easier to digest. But anyway, um, after you watch the video, go over there, uh, look around. And I think I have some very specific and good um, links for you and recommendations and further information as far as this question is concerned. So real quickly, what I'm going to discuss in this video, and I have it written down here so that I won't forget anything. Uh, first of all, really quickly, what are the best ways to learn guitar in general? Um, then what does that actually mean learning on your own? So specifically the on your own part, what is your understanding of what that, what that actually means? Because it could mean, it could mean something for you, which is very co different compared to what it means for me. So we want to clarify on that. And then I also want to find out what is your actual goal in learning the guitar? Because you know, the approach might be very different, whether you just want to learn a couple of songs, a couple of chords, very basic, or whether you really, really want to get deep into it and take it to an advanced level. Then I want to discuss three ways of learning guitar on your own, three different ways that I feel are probably the most common ways when people opt to go down the do it yourself, meaning learn guitar on your own route. And then we're going to talk about a number of options for you. Um, a good mix of completely free learn guitar on your own online options and one paid for option. And that's it. So let's, so let's get started. Ways to learn uh, guitar on your own. Uh, not too long ago, I did a very thorough evaluation around all the different ways to learn guitar, whether that's on your own or with a teacher and all that. So I don't want to spend too much time on it. If you want to read up on that, there's a link somewhere here, click on it, we'll take you over to to another video and to another discussion around that topic. But keep in mind, one point that I always make, there's something to be said, learning with a guitar teacher, guitar teacher, that's probably the most um, efficient learning experience because you will get feedback. Uh, it has also a number of disadvantages. First of all, you have somebody who tells you all the time what you need to do and what you don't want, what you shouldn't be doing. Um, there are logistical uh, considerations as well as the fact that it's probably the most costly option. Then you can go and do group or class lessons. I'm not a huge fan of those. Don't want to get, get into too much detail. And then last and but Last but not least, you can just say, you know what, I'm not going to work with a teacher. I'm not going to go to a class. I'll do it my, I do it by myself and we'll get into that in more detail. So what does on your own mean for you? Is it your understanding? And, and I just want to clarify on that on your own to me means that you decided that you will figure out how to play the guitar by yourself by using by using one or a number of different resources resources that are available at your disposal those resources may be free or paid for options we are talking about a book that you could buy we're talking about dvds that you could buy you we're talking about online so i just wanted to clarify that is my understanding if someone says hey i want to learn guitar by myself or on my own i would presume it means i don't want to work with a teacher i don't want to go and attend the class i just wanted to clarify that so that we're on the same page so the next point is what's your goal Again, is your goal to just learn a number of basic chords, you know, and in the article that goes along with this video, I use two examples of some real students of mine. One uh, was a 79 year old woman. She loved German uh, folklore and, and German traditional songs. And she just wanted to play along with the songs, with these songs and, and, and sing along. And that was her whole ambition. And that's very different from the second example that I referred to in the article, which was a guy who had all the time in the world. He spent 
hours each day practicing it. He figured a lot of things out by himself and whenever I met him, I met him once, once a week, he was way ahead of the schedule. He really went deep into the subject and um, he was really obsessed with the whole thing. And that's, that's a completely different outlook. That's a completely different angle from where he came in compared to the 79 year old woman. And I think that's important to something just to think about. You may not know at this point where you exactly want to be we going. And the good thing is whether you know already that you want to become a professional guitarist, I'm just using that as an example, or just like a hobby player, a bedroom player, so to speak, then it doesn't matter because the start is is always the same for pretty much for for everybody. And then a few weeks or months into the into the process you will very likely figure out for yourself in which direction you want to go. So now let's discuss three ways of learning guitar on your own and by yourself. I mentioned them already. You can buy guitar books. Books are, I learned with the help of a guitar book. I had one guitar book um, and that was it. It came with a flexible vinyl record and that that's essentially was all I had when I started uh, learning guitar. Later on there were VHS tapes and stuff like that, but online wasn't wasn't even existing or available to a, to a normal human being. So learning with guitar books is definitely doable. There's no doubt about it. Would I recommend it to you? Would I recommend to you oh, just go and buy a book and and try to figure it out? I'm not so sure because I do believe there are other options available. With the book, what's missing when you learn with a book is the visual. Yes, you will likely have some images there, but it's very different looking at an image or looking at a video where somebody shows you everything in detail. So guitar books, yes, doable, but probably not my preferred choice. Second, DVD sets. I'm a little bit worried about the whole DVD thing, and I'm not saying that there are not good DVD courses out there. I'm sure there are. The ones I looked at I didn't find them very helpful and, and useful. Um, and DVDs obviously have the advantage that you get that you get the visual, that you get the videos. But the question really is, would you really want to buy a DVD set when you can get pretty much the same kind online? So then you don't have to have to work with DVDs and you, online just seems to be so much easier to me and very likely less expensive. Uh, which brings me to the last option, which is online lessons. So in this day and age, and and assuming you're watching this video online means you have online access. Therefore, the only challenge you now have is to figure out what is a good resource for you, a valuable resource, a reputable resource that can help you learning the guitar by yourself. And I want to help you with that, obviously. Before we talk about these concrete options that I want to bring onto your radar screen, just a couple of tips that you that you need to be mindful of. When you decide to learn guitar on your own, you need to be you need to be willing to put in the effort. And that might that is certainly true for all guitar learning methods, but the fact of the matter is if you work with a teacher, you have a supervisor. You have somebody who will likely give you a nip in the butt all the time at times when when you're getting off track. So you have that scrutiny, that level of scrutiny and supervision that some people do just better with. With others, it's the exact opposite. They they hate that and any type of pressure is a deterrent to their learning process. But the fact is, if you do the do-it-yourself thing, you need to be disciplined. You need to follow, you need to establish your own schedule. The temptation is that life gets in your way or you feel like, oh, you know what? I'm just tired today. I'll do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow you forgot about the dentist appointment. So then you have to postpone it again. So you see where I'm going with that. So you have to, you have to be very disciplined, probably more so than going to a class or working with a teacher. So that's just something very important um, that you need to keep in mind. Set your own schedule. Practice, if possible, every day, 20 minutes a day, five to six days a week. Ideally, you can do more than that. And the last consideration and tip, if you will, is that, uh, you, there will be times where you will get stuck. 
there will be certain chords where you just feel like, okay, I, I, I just don't know what to do here. And then you need to be willing to get out there online and, you know, browse the internet and find additional information to get over that hurdle. There is nobody who you can just ask, right? With a teacher, you would just wait till you meet him the next time or call him or send him an email, say, hey, what's going on here? I, I just don't know what to do. He can help you. Now, if you have to figure things out by yourself, that just is uh, that just requires an additional level of effort. And that's just something you need to acknowledge and to, and to accept. Now, fortunately, there is enough information online. So very likely, you find some, something on any kind of topic or issue or challenge that you have that will help you getting past that. So now to wrap this up, talk about let's talk about a number of options that I'd like you or that I can recommend to you. Two names that I keep mentioning all the time online, uh, Marty Schwartz and uh, Justin Guitar. Um, again, there are links to my article somewhere and there, there are links over to their websites and to their programs. Check them out. They're great people. I personally don't, don't know them. They probably don't know me. Um, but they, those guys have been around for a long time. I am not intimately familiar with everything they have to offer, but I know for a fact that a lot of the things they have available are free of charge. And they also have beginner programs or tutorials. What I don't know is whether or not they have an, an, a, a, a separate dedicated beginner's guitar course, which is something that I can contribute to. I, as a matter of fact, have a beginner's guitar course where you get the best of everything in a sense that you have a program that allows, it's essentially you work with a teacher, but you work online. There are all the video lessons that you can take at your own pace, at your own schedule. There are worksheets, there are additional resources, but very importantly, if you get stuck, you have my personal email, you send me that email, I'll answer, I'm known for responding very fast, and then I'll get back to you and I can help you when you get stuck. So you're in charge of the schedule, you're in charge of the pace, but if you get stuck, you have me available at your disposal. The course was initially $69. It's now completely free of charge. No registration necessary, no money, no sign up. You just click on the link and you get started. The last option is a paid for option and that's Jamplay. I've been talking a lot about Jamplay uh, lately. I had an opportunity to really look closely at what they have to offer. And Jamplay is the number one rated guitar learning platform, not just for beginners, but just across the board for all guitarists. There is something for everybody, whether you're a beginner or an advanced player, doesn't matter what type of guitar you play, what, what your musical preference is and all that. So Jamplay is a very viable option to look into and definitely something I encourage you to look at. You don't have to sign up or buy anything right now but just look look what they have to offer again there's a link go over there it will take you to Jamplay if you decide to work with Jamplay their prices are extremely reasonable you can get an entire course for the price that you would pay elsewhere for one lesson or for a couple of lessons it's very affordable and on top of that i have exclusive coupon codes for you that will that will give you more of a discount so that makes the whole thing even more affordable again there's a link somewhere click there it will take you right there and uh, i will explain everything so is it hard to learn guitar on your own my standard answer is when it comes to how hard is it to learn guitar is it really hard to learn guitar it is likely a little bit harder than you think because the problem is the information that's available especially online suggests it's a piece of cake you'll learn it in in hours just today as a matter of fact when i when i looked around what comes up in google you know learning the guitar on your own there's there's um a a um there's one vendor or one course that say you can learn guitar within a matter of two hours or something like that a couple of hours Look, sure, I mean, I can spend a couple of hours with you and show you a, 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 two or three chords and show you a song or two and you can more or less play these songs. But is that is that your understanding of learning the guitar? 
So just be honest. Is that is that what you had in mind of, okay, this is all I need to know. Um, and even if you, even the most talented person, if you're brand new to the guitar, it's just not doable that you can learn the instrument within the matter of a few hours. So anything that's too good to be true is just, is just too good to be true. It defies common sense and very likely just something to lure you in to get, get on somebody's website to buy whatever they have to offer. I want to be very clear. It's, I'm not in the business of discrediting the work of other people. That's really not my intention. As a matter of fact, I'm referring you to other people. I'm referring you to Justin. I'm referring you to Marty. You're in great hands there. You don't have to work with me. If you hate me, if you don't like me or, or whatsoever, if you don't like my course, that's why I give you all these uh, different options. So, so look, while I care about you and your progress as a guitar player, at the end of the day, what's most important is that you get the best learning experience and you get the best, the best option for you. And that might vary, that could be working with somebody else but me. So again, it's not about trashing other people. There are great guitar teachers out there. I'm sure they're very, there are a lot of reputable programs, but unfortunately, there's also a lot of nonsense out there that can cost a lot of money and you get nothing or very little value. So just be careful with that so that you don't end up throwing money out of the window. That's it for today. Again, read the article. I'm. I'm there's a link somewhere here. I'm sure there's some good information there for you with specific links and recommendations. As usual, if you have questions, leave them below the video. I'll be, get back to you right away. I hope I see you next time. If you're not a subscriber yet, I would appreciate your subscription. And if you can leave a like for this video, I will see you next time. Till then, bye-bye.